G'day everyone, welcome back to a guy on his troopy. Um, I've just finished my first swing at the Snowy 2.0 and I thought instead of going home the way I normally do, I'll, I'll go somewhere different. And I've just gone through Jindy and now I'm heading towards Threadbow. I'm gonna go down the other side of the hill down to Tom Grogan and camp there tonight, probably on the Victorian side at Dogman Hut. And then from there, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to attack this. It's just sort of a spur of the moment thing. So, just see what happens. So, wish me luck. It's a dead horse gap. So, elevation of 1,582 metres. You get a great view. Well, the troop is in the way. But you normally get a real good view back down the thread, but I'll show you that. It is a beautiful day. Absolutely splendid. I'll show you that view. Well, obviously GoPros don't do this justice. See the township down there, Threadbow. I'm not sure of that snow up there. I'll try and zoom in on that later, but swing around here. To the west, that's where I'm heading. Well, she's all downhill from here. 8K, steep descent. This is the sort of driving that the troop you loves. It loves downhill a lot much more than it does like going uphill, I tell ya. Well, the road rolls on like a welcome man To a better place than the one we're at and I ain't got no kind of plan When I get this feeling, you'll shine down on me Okay, I just put up the Murray River. It's just uh, past Tom Grogan here. This is where I'm going to cross here. Come down and have a look, eh? Yeah, shouldn't be any worries. That's for sure, I think. Probably lucky to be a foot and a half deep, I reckon. I tell you what, the March flies. They don't mess around, they're quick, I tell ya. You don't stand still for too long. Okay, I'm just gonna let some air in my tyres and let all my running gear cool down. Cause um, there's a pretty steep descent coming down here and I've been on the brakes a fair bit. So I'll let it all cool down, let some air out and then we'll um, head across the Murray, eh? Back to Victoria. Well, you don't want to stand around too long. These marsh flies will pick you up and carry you away, I reckon. Oh, incredible.
Okay, so now we're in Victoria. I'm just on the way to the Dogman's Hut. Um, probably camp there tonight. And then just decide what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I'm having some issues with my train tamer, uh, remote red shocks. I've been in discussions with our uh, train tamer and I spoke to him today personally rather than emails and I need to relocate me my remote reservoir so I've just been scrubbing out. I've moved it twice now and they've asked me to put it somewhere else so it's only an easy track at the moment and I'm scrubbing out already so what I'm thinking is I might just have to take the easy way home, fix this shit up and then uh, work it out from there I think so. March flies are killing me. So this is camp for the night. Had a nice little fire pit already made up, so that was a bonus. Pretty basic setup, no awnings. Shouldn't have any rain tonight. There's the guys from um, Sydney and the patrols are up there on the hill. And just down here, we've got the river. Okay, it's cooled off a little bit, fire's going well, and the new camp boss street light is working well. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but it's shedding good light around the campsite, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's LED, so it should use less power. I'm gonna head up and visit the people from Sydney here in the patrols, say good day to them and have a couple of beers and see what the night brings, I suppose. So, all right, appreciate everyone hanging around. Uh, you know, if you're still watching at the moment, I really appreciate it because that means you're um, probably halfway through the video and that's better than getting out for an hour and not watching it. If that makes any sense. You know, I need a beer. Jeez. Probably won't see me here. I don't know if you can see me here, but the smoke, once again, guys, is just coming straight at me. It's that beauty thing I was telling you about earlier on. These guys from Sydney over here, there's no smoke anywhere near them. It's just straight at me. It's a tough life, eh, being this good looking. They won't even talk to me now. That's how pissed <laughs> off they are.
I tell you what, pays to get up early. Nobody march flies around. That's one good thing, eh? All right, just inside Dogma's hut. Pretty neat and tidy. Climbs, then you get up on the ridge line for a while and it flattens out. Um, nothing too hard, it's, it gets a bit shaly, so you want to just make sure you drop the air pressure down a little bit. But other than that, it's, you know, it's a good little drive. I'm about halfway through it, I think. Um, went past Mount Pinabar, turn off before it was saying it was closed, but in saying that, up, I wasn't going to attack it anyway. Um, yeah, I'll just get. So fix this suspension up and come back and have another go next time when I um, finish the next swing I reckon.
climb out of the Hornet stream. It's, it looks fucking steep, I tell ya. Right about now, I was wishing I had a bit more air out of my tyres, just quietly. Once I get to the top of this, that's where the Hornet Stream track starts. I'm not, I think it's closed to tell the truth. It's one of the local tracks I want to do, and there's a couple of guys I know who want to do it as well, so. Thank you. 